everyone, Bobby here from Dipper Media. I've been asked several times over the last couple months how to download and view your Google My Business or your GMB insights from periods of time in the past. And fair question makes a lot of sense. Um, obviously, people want to know how their their productivity in local search is doing now versus six months ago or 12 months ago. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly here and hopefully this will help. So I am on my Google My Business dashboard. I've isolated just Bipper Media um, just to keep it simple. We have, I don't know, 100 plus locations, but, uh, but just looking at this one, your dashboard should look just like this. So um, step number one is to select your location. Right, just check that box. When you do, you get this drop down uh, actions button in the top right hand corner. So go ahead and click that. In this drop down menu, you need to select insights. And that brings up this option uh, menu. Uh, we always, here at Bipper Media, we only focus on the discovery insights um, because it gives you the, the fullest picture, the full spectrum of all of your productivity metrics. Uh, relative to your GMB listing. So you can just isolate photos, just phone calls. It'd be the same process. But so I'm going to show you uh, the discovery insights, which will give you all of the uh, business or productivity data. So make sure that's highlighted. Hit next. And here's the important part. So in the time frame drop down menu, you see 7, 30, 90 days. Um, but the problem is if you select something like 90 days, you're going to get the aggregate total of the last 90 days, not just the last 30 days or, you know, the last 30 days versus, you know, 90 days ago. So selecting the customized range is how you can, how you can isolate points of time in the past. So let's say I want to look at how we were doing, um, this most recent month versus six months ago, right? So I would go back to just keep it simple. What is that November? So I'm going to select customized range, the start date. I'm going to pick November 1st of 2018. Let's get back here. And then the end date, I'm going to select, uh, what is it? November 30th, I believe of 2018. So what I've done is I've now isolated the month of November, which I know it's not exact, but basically I'm, I'm, I've isolated six months ago. Okay. So, um, and, and you can, you can choose whatever time frame. if you wanted to do a year ago, um, you would go back six months previous. So, you know, a year, six months, whatever, however you want to do it, this is how you isolate your date ranges. And then you just, once you have your date ranges set, you hit download report. And you see here it's downloading the data downloads as a CSV file. So you're going to need to be able to open and read a CSV file. So I, I use Excel and but I always bring the data from Excel um, up to Google Sheets. But however you do it, the data downloads as a CSV. If you have numbers and a Mac, I think I think numbers will open a CSV as well. But there's your data. It's downloaded. And then I'm going to go ahead, go there. And I know you might not be able to see this. Um, but once you open the CSV file, here we go. So um, now I am looking at the data from six months ago. And here, you know, total actions, map views, search views, total views in search, um, discovery searches, which is your non branded search phrases direct searches, which is branded phrases, so on and so forth. So all of your data points are now here for you to look at um, phone calls during the month of November, right? So now you have all your data points here and you can either use that to compare in your, um, to compare in your GMB insights, the most recent data, or if you wanted to, you know, be exact, I want to compare November to the last full month the last full previous month, you can just simply do that. So we would go, it's now the middle of April. So let's say I want to see the full month, the last full month, with, which was March. So I would just simply select March 1st there and March 31st there. I would download that data and boom. Then I could, um, then I could just simply, now, now, that I, now that I have the data in a spreadsheet, 
you know, you can start taking it and uploading it to Google Sheets and getting cool charts. And I want to show you what, what we do for, for our clients. Here is a, um, here is what we call a local productivity report. We send these to our clients every single month and we've broken down the uh, GMB insights and we've grouped them by like category. So here's all the, here's all the action productivity metrics. So phone calls, directions, website actions, which are website visits, uh, people going from your GMB listing to your website or calling you directly from your GMB listing. Um, here are the, here's your, your productivity and search. So discovery searches, obviously that's the non-branded search. So people who are looking for the type of product or service that that business offers. Direct search is people looking for that business specifically, right? Um, and then down here is the views, the number of times you were viewed in maps and the number of times viewed in search, um, in search being on desktop and mobile. So um, anyway, this is what you can do. We do this in Google Sheets. We created these graphs and we do exactly what I just walked you through. We do that each month as soon as the previous month's data is available. So you see the most recent month we're showing, or the, the, the most recent month when we're sending our clients their monthly productivity report, most recent, obviously, March. So we're, we're, we're in April. And the full month of April is not going to be available in, uh, in GMB Insights until about the 5th. We found about the 5th of each month, by the 5th of each month, the full month, the full previous months of data is available. So around the 5th of each month, that first week, our team goes in, we, we bulk download hundreds of our locations data, um, bring them up. So anyway, it's kind of a, it's kind of, it, it, it's, it's kind of a complicated process the way we do it. Um, but, but at the very basic level to answer your question, that is specifically how you can go into your location, isolate points of time in the past, download that data, and um, and compare it to your most recent productivity data and insights. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, wherever you see this video, post comments or, or questions, and I'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you.